Good morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever it is where you are. I'm James with Pipedrive, and in this video, we're going to talk about what's improved with Pipedrive in the last month or so, just in case you missed it. Now, adding additional users to Pipedrive is much more simple. All you need to enter now is an email address. That's it. Once your invitees have accepted, they'll simply provide their own names. And now, activity insights have arrived. Newer improved reporting for the activities you and your team perform day to day. So let's say you want to start off generic and simply see how many activities are scheduled on a weekly basis. Already you can just use this to see if you've planned ahead enough to smash your targets, but you can also choose how this data will be segmented. So let's say we want to segment by the user assigned to the activity, but we want to view this data by the status of the activities. And lastly, let's say we want to measure these activities by the duration rather than just the number of activities. But we can go even deeper than that. By applying additional filters to these reports, you can get obnoxiously specific. But as usual, once you're happy with your report, just save it, and at any time you can just drag and drop this report to your dashboard. Now if these insights reports are still pretty new to you, and you'd like to learn more about how to leverage their awesome power, just check out our tutorial video here, or if you want to get a more in-depth overview that goes into real deep detail, one of our product managers has a full on-demand webinar on the subject. So check it out. Now one last thing about insights, if you're on the professional plan, you'll be able to view these activity insights by teams. And speaking of the professional plan, the last thing on our list here comes exclusively with the professional plan, and that's required fields. This is the best way for sales managers to ensure the quality of their sales data is solid. Under your data fields is where you can create custom fields, but now you can also mark custom or default fields as required or important. Important fields have been around a while. They simply remind you to fill in a field as you go about your work, but required fields force users to fill out your fields before they can go forward. For fields related to deals, you can elect for a field to be required only once it's reached a specific stage of one of your pipelines. So say you know that you want to have documented the organization your prospect is associated with by the time they reach the second stage of your process. Now when it comes to fields related to your contacts, that is people or organizations, users of Pipedrive will simply not be able to create them unless this field is filled out. So if you're an admin user, head on over to data fields and try it out. You'll be everyone's favorite person after you're done restricting things. Or in all seriousness, the right way to look at it is you'll be able to establish a standard of data quality for your sales organization. It also helps them understand what information they would need from their prospects, streamlining the qualification process, and it also makes it easier for other teams in your company that rely on sales data to find the information they need. It's more reliable because all the deals in your pipeline contain consistent information. And that's a wrap for today, everybody. As usual, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, pipe drivers.